てというわけでいよいよお昼の時間が来たねメイヤーのクリフでアナウンスとペケニングフラン In Reina's case, I don't think she'd lose even if she wasn't taking it seriously. それぞれに頑張りましたのですよ今日はさとこもリカちゃんもそれぞれに別々に作ってきたいつもは二人一緒のお弁当だけど今日は一緒だと勝負にならないからねええー、そこは大丈夫ですよリカも私もちゃんとそれぞれに用意させていただきましたのよリカちゃんも頑張ったんだね楽しみ楽しみちょっと意外だったのはケイちゃんがちゃんとお弁当を用意できた点かなケイちゃんもさすがやればできるみたいじゃない I scratched my head and gave her a dry smile My bento today had been made entirely by Satoko last night It had none of my personality So there wasn't anything there that they could praise me for. So that's what Was it really better to hide the fact that Satoko came over and made dinner last night? Well, of course it was. If I revealed that I didn't make my own bento, I'd be sure to end up playing the punishment game. Today's punishment game. Was to stand right in front of the curry maniac Shige Sensei and say bad things about curry. It wasn't too different from telling someone to jump out of a hundred story window. It was exactly the same as telling someone to die. Demo Mi chan, Kyo no Benpo Sobu te, do ya te shouhai wo tsukeru no kana? ケイチ君もちゃんと作ってこれたんだから今日はこれで引き分けで決着なんじゃないのかなそれもそうですわね昨日の罰ゲームはケイチさんに自炊を促すための葉っぱみたいなものですしケイチもちゃんと作ってこれましたから引き分けなのですよ My simple bento with last night's leftovers could never have stood up to everyone else's bento that they made to win. I fully understood Satoko and Rika-chan's concern for me as they tried to end the showdown peacefully. However, the club president Mion Sonosaki would not be convinced by something like that. This was bad. At this rate, I was sure to be the sole loser. But, well, I didn't make this bento after all. Maybe I need to resign myself to my inevitable loss.
me and commanded everyone who had just started eating using her club president voice. Everyone in the class was used to being dragged to me on club activities. She came the energetic voices from here and there. Everyone already knew that the showdown this time involved an utter defeat of punishment game. They were all very interested in what would happen to whoever lost. Of course, they wanted the thrill of seeing something terrifying. In exaggerated fashion, Mion pulled the lid of her multi tiered ornate bent bento box. Multiple shears of joy erupted at the brilliant sight. すごいですわね。嘘だ。嘘に決まってる。こんなんだ。どこから下地弁当の中身を打ち変えただけに違いない。こんな純日本風な料理をミオンがミオンが。この先ミオンが作れるわけがない。何？兄ちゃん、このく
a few people struck by just that once again revised their opinions and wrote in scores on their notepaper. Satoko and Rika chunk and danced at each other and grinned happily. Eh? What? When Satoko told me I broke off from the actors and secretly looked for my classmates' bento boxes. There, Tommy Takuna Dokamura comes bento boxes. I took a quick peek inside and... Half of the contents were missing. N not bad. In the end, Satoko and Rikachan hadn't made Bento today. A bold move. They got Tommy Takun and Okamura kun to share their Bentos with them. Oi, Tommy Takun, Okamura kun, nani o joke ni baishu sarta? Yee, ikinai nan desu ka? Omae ga, oh, mobo. Curse you, Satoko. What an impudent trick. Satoko grinned, showing her fang like canines and laughed in triumph. Naive, buying them out with watering duty alone. Dear men, if you're going to buy them out, you need to use something a lot spicier than that. For example, hmm, like giving them free tickets to walk Satoko and Rikachan around like dogs all day, with them on all fours wearing tails and with leashes around their necks. Wow, would. That might be enough to get me to do anything. As I was lost in my wild fantasies, Mion clapped me on the shoulder and called me back to reality. Damn, it was just getting good. Oh, they're all looking forward to it. But it's really just leftovers from dinner last night. I didn't even make it either. How was that supposed to stand up to Mion and Rena and the others? Tore the lid of my bento box. There weren't very many shears. Well, I guess there wouldn't be. Keiichi-kun was a lot of fun. Rena was a lot of fun. Rena, you can't do that. 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 Mion's cold, mean laugh. It was like it spoke for everyone's opinion, just like that. ケイチ君初挑戦なのにこんなに上手に作れたんだよ。みんなもっともっと評価してあげてもいいと思うんだけどな。でも勝負は非常なのです。さあ、てけいちゃん、採点結果を集計する前に何か申し開きがあるなら
<笑>も申し開きってなんだよケイちゃんがここで何かを訴えることでわずかな得点加算が望めるかもしれないってこと<笑>何しろ今日の勝負はビリでさえなければいいんだからうまくすればなんとか罰ゲームから逃れることができるかもよ<笑>それって兄圭一さんのお弁当がビリって言ってるのと同じことでしてよ別におじさん誰の弁当がビリなんて言ったつもりはないんだけどな<笑> Me and Cackle d r o p o l i c e v i l l y In contrast, Satoko's smile was growing somewhat or somehow awkward. Oh, right. This bento was filled with last night's side dishes. That means it was basically a bento that Satoko made. And Mion outright said it would come in last place. レーナーケイちゃんも今日の弁当勝負は負けられないってあらかじめ知ってたんだよそれを承知で昨日あれだけの大見えを切ったんだからさ甘やかす必要なんて全然ないと思うけどなねえさとこえええそうですわねそれでこのざまなんですから笑っちゃいましたよちょっとさとこちゃん笑うなんていけないんだよだってちゃんちゃらおかしくて笑ってしまうようなお弁当でしたよこんなお惣菜屋さんで買ってきたようなおかず本当に幻滅もいいところでしたよほらこれなんか缶詰を開けただけだよねこっちのキュウリは包丁が通ってなくてきれいに切れてないしケイちゃん包丁とか全然扱ったことないでしょう。経験不足が明らかなんだよね。ええー、経験不足もいいところでございましたよ。彩りもかなり単調。こればかりはセンスのなさに呆れるね。ははははそ、そりゃ、弁当箱に食い物を詰めるなんて。初めての経験だし、多少見栄えが悪いのは仕方が。ゲイちゃん、ゲイちゃん。弁当箱への詰め方以前のレベルなの。富田、岡村、解説。富田くん and 岡村くん were chosen from our many underclassmen. 富田くん quickly adjusted his glasses and took a step forward. 前原さんのお弁当に致命的な欠点それは彩りなんですご存知の通りあらゆる色彩の根底には三原色と呼ばれる配色が存在しますつまりバランスよく配色を求めるなら白黒を除いても三色は必要なのですえー、しかるに前原さんのお弁当は白黒を除いた場合ああ。It was charming if only because they were working so hard despite having been bought out. The classroom, convinced by the elucidation of the mystery they were thoroughly baffled with, raised mysterious groans of admiration. Ah, 
愛もなければ心もない決まったね前原圭一うんちょっと冷たいけどでもこれを機に圭一くんもお料理の楽しさに気づいてくれれば。そんなことより罰ゲームが僕以外なら何でもいいのですよ。The rain I was giving a dry <laughs> smile as well. あ<笑>決まりましたわね、ケイチさん。罰ゲームはケイチさんで決まりですのよ。<laughs> She laughed in such a wild manner. But she didn't look like she meant it. I knew that Satoko was speaking ill of a bento that she'd practically made herself in front of the whole classroom, and I could tell how painful that laughter was. Okamura kun said before that this bento lacked spirit, but among all the bento laid out here today, there wasn't a single one with as much spirit as this one. This meal. That she made for me yesterday in such a good mood, though it looked like she was in a bad one. I won't let it end with this slander. Sate! Billy no Keiichi san? Soro soro otonashiku make o mitome nasai mase? Chotto matte mora o ka. When I began to speak in a low voice, the expressions of all the members of the club changed. Mion clicked her tongue. This man was baring his fangs at the last moment again. Ore no bento no hai ni wa kokoro ga nai. So yu kaisetsu datta na. Matsugai nai, Okamura kun. Okamura kun, who had suddenly been placed in the spotlight, looked flustered for a moment, but immediately he stammered and replied that I was right. Great! The burn marks from when I almost caused a fire yesterday looked just like I was having a ton of trouble cooking. Clear to tell that the classroom was forced to acknowledge the effort I put into it. Oh, Mizu からの料理の手さによる失敗をさも努力の功績であるかのように見せるとやはりこの男油断ならない。そうだ、俺は下手だ。昨日大見えを切ったのが情けなくなるくらいに料理は下手だ。だが逃げなかった。戦った。そしてこの成果を出した。The girls in the class start to nod in agreement. Okay, the tables are turning. But Tomita Kun and Okamura Kun, bought out by the objects of their unrequited affection, weren't about to lose either. They shifted to the counterattack, clearly exceeding the price they were paid. なるほど。前原さんの気持ちはわかります。ですがね、心だけで料理が決まるんだったら、この世にコックはいらないんですよ。そうっすよ。心を込めて頑張りましたって言って、コックが消し済みみたいなハンバーグを持ってきたら。That's right. That's how it goes. The male students took Tomita and Okamura's side. God, they did have a point. Clap, 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 clap. This time, the female students in the class took my side. Good. Now we're even. So, 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 so,
愛情を食事の形として昇華させたものでそれは相手に伝わって初めて意味があるんです前原さんのお弁当からはそれが伝わりますかいいえ本部には伝わりませんひどい Girls in the class began to boo b e l o w to at his remark. Now, even Nakamura san was panicking. The girls in the class again gave cries of support as they all applauded. In response, all the men in the class began to boo boo. That was strangely real. Was it actually just an example? The boys and girls all began to argue amongst themselves about presents. They were all talking about what they received as presents in the past. Damn it. Tomata kun, he changed the subject to something that could easily grab everyone's attention. Not bad. I'll lose the initiative at this rate. Igi ari! Onke wa, o b e n t o no kokoro ni tsuite tou mono des. Tanjoubi no present to you, toxina jokyo toa. Mattak kotonarimas. Yakkas mas. Kensas gawa, tsuke nasai. Damn. Unanimously praised that with applause. Materialistic brats. <clears throat> But all the guys that age are like that. Even I would choose the gift certificate over the sweater in that case. Hey, wait, weren't you guys the ones who said it was about love, spirit, and taste right at the start? Since when did taste, Trump all? That 
what's the stance they were taking now with? よりお送り手の心と受け手の心には何の因果関係もないことが立証されたと思いますつまり前原さんがどれだけ苦労して Ah, now the courtroom is in chaos, but I can't allow myself to lose, and not only to avoid the punishment game, but also to protect Sartoko's honor. Slowly and strongly, I nod and step up to the the da, dice dice. I don't know, Tomita kun Okamura kun. Do you two really think you can beat me with mere words? Ima kensas ga wa okurite no kokoro to wa mukanke ni kyouka ga okunawareru to shimasu. Kore ni machigai wa arimasen. At some point, I began speaking formally. え、そうです。前原さんがどんなに苦労して作ったお弁当でも、その苦労は評価の対象にはなり得ない。では検察側に尋ねます。私前原が今日の自分の弁当としてこのお弁当とコンビニ弁当を並べたら、その評価はどち
見よこの流れよん<笑>半分しか入っていないね半分かどうかじゃないでしょうもっとよく見てくださいほらあまたこなじ内容だ大番長見ての通りですフルデリカシのお弁当は岡村君の盗品そんなものに心がこもってるわけがないいやこれは単なる偶然でもう明白でしょう心とは送り手と受け手のキャッチボールならば弁当箱はボールに当たるのですそして本来このお弁当は彼岡村君の母親から息子に託されたものだからこの弁当箱に詰まった心は彼岡村君にしか受けられないそれを割り込んで奪ったらもうそれに心はないのですイエーイだっててでちなるほどね。前原圭一の弁当が客観的評価として非常に出来の悪いものであるのは間違いないそれはこうしてみんなの採点の集計結果が物語ってるからねでも圭ちゃんの言う通り料理は味だけじゃない心もまた隠し味として認められるべきだよねでもそれは得点評価で言えば少数点以下本当に微細なものでその出来具合の評価を改めるには至らないさてここでそもそもの今日の弁当勝負の原点を探りたいそもそも今日の勝負は何が大前提なのかそう被告前原圭一が自炊できるか否かが問題になりその成果を測るためにもうんそうだよ圭一君はちゃんと作ってきたよあ、oh, that stung my conscience a bit but for the show down it didn't matter ならばこの勝負の大前提は自炊すなわち手作りであるか否かだよねでもリカちゃんはそれを怠ったとなるとそれは出来以前の問題すなわち失格ってことになるのかなリカちゃんだったことはニッパー looking as though she had prepared herself for this outcome わ悪く思うなよリカちゃん部活は非常なのだというわけでこれにて一見落着今日のビリはフルデリカあミラキュースターンアラウンドンラストプレイスワントリカちゃん The one where everyone had the least expected. The whole classroom went wild. Sato got looked at me hatefully, but spoke in a vague kind of voice. Billy, you can't get a lot of money. 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 I'm 
お惣菜や缶詰ばかりでセンスもなくてそれからそれから Satoko was speaking more and more poorly of herself as time went on, so I roughly grabbed her head and began to stroke it. Taro, Kokoro got a jet day. Pono Bento, a Uabedaki, and I. You don't know, Zinia, I've written in the day. Demo, Kokoro, that I never said, no, you. Was not the Tete Hende. Doko, a hen, and I. Whatever, my Makata. だから詰めてきた本当に夕べの飯がまずかったら詰めてなんか来ないぞ食パンと牛乳パックを持って投稿してくるでもでもでも just shut up already I caressed her head swinging it from side to side at some point Rina had come up behind us she was giggling to herself That was the face of someone who had known everything from the beginning. いつ頃から俺が作ったんじゃないって気づいてた。ケイチ君が火傷を見せてくれた時かな。だってケイチ君のお弁当に油で炒めるおかずなんか入ってないし。えっとえっと。Rina smiled roguishly and turned from Satoko to me. Kyori to ka okiru toki wa hojo hara. Irodori nanka wa ne, o yasai wa jōzu ni kuwaeru to iroiro hyōgen ga dekiru n deyo. This lecture was clearly not meant for me. Demo, mai ni mise te muratta toki yori mo zutto jōtatsu shite ta yo. Chan to o benkyo shite ru nda ne. She continued saying words clearly meant for Satoko while facing me instead. Satoko was wearing an ambiguous look and couldn't even nod her head at her. As we were going back and forth, Satoko rubbed her eyes as though she was drowsy, then announced to Mion and everyone else. If she'd keep kept it a secret, then at least she would have been saved. Tomita can look at her with an expression filled with regret and surprise. Mion spun her finger around then pointed to the hallway, sentencing Satoko to the punishment game as well. Satoko left the classroom behind her, completely prepared, as though she was going with Rikachan on an errand. Rikachan spoke so that only I could hear, grinning happily. Satoko seemed awfully happy, not frustrated in the slightest, like she always was when she lost. Damn. 
make a chance right after all. Everyone here is a moron. Mio, I will help you. Today's dinner is mine. I made it. It's the same. So let's go. Let's go. Bats game. Leaving a bewildered Mion and a happy smiling Rina behind the classroom, I went into the hallway. そうだな。物好きにも程があるぜ。まったく今日の罰ゲームを甘く見すぎですのよ。私たちなんとまく圭一さんじゃ大変なことになってしまうかもしれませんわね。肋骨が一本や二本の覚悟は終わりでしょう
for that was the rule of our club. The three of us held each other's shoulders tightly once more. We could see two or three question marks popping up above the teacher's head. Alright, Satoko. This is the only time I'll trust you with my life. Because I'll be shutting my eyes tightly and only thinking about what we'll be having for dinner. I'm leaving it to you. Satoko inhaled deeply. And so... In the end, my selfish request was readily granted. As Satoko muttered complaints under her breath quite merrily, she came to with me to the store. Rika-chan didn't come with us. She said she had a thing she wanted to do or something. I believed her when she told me, but when I really thought about it, I started to think maybe she was being considerate towards Satoko in her own way. Without Rika-chan here, Satoko is prouder and more loquacious than ever. And I wasn't really listening to her, but she was telling me all this quite proudly. Every time I seemed surprised at something, or made an affirmative grunt in a place of conversation, Satoko would say, You don't know anything, do you, Keiichi-san? and smiled very happily in spite of her complaints. She had led me by the hand to all sorts of stalls, one after the other. She was in such a supreme mood that just being with her sheared me up. Merely being pulled into Satoko's pace was a lot of fun. Oi, Satoko pushed a handful of receipts in my face. Pfft. Why can't Satoko do these kinds of mental calcul calculations when she's at school? So. ノーマルは払いっぱいたくさん買うか。ワンランク上のチーズ入りを包ましく買うか。これはかなり悩む。おとなしく量を取りなさいませ。年頃の男の方は必要に量を取った方が賢明でしたよ。さあ、さとは
Satoko really seemed like she was having fun. She looked like a kid who had grabbed her family's hands while running towards an amusement park attraction. In the end, the bag of pork we obtained was so normal that it was that it almost hurt, but I knew that it would taste absolutely delicious. The Kikadas had come out at some point, and the Higurashi were singing in chorus. The air was so clear and it felt so good. Our silhouette stretching out on the ground made for a really wonderful picture. We had filled our bicycle baskets to the brim with our shopping bags. They only contained ingredients and various other foodstuffs. Even so, every last thing packed in them sort of looked really happy and made me feel really happy in turn. それもまた自炊の楽しみですよ。お買い物のうちからもう夕食は始まっているんですもの。野菜炒め、楽しい。うちのお袋のメニューにはさ、野菜炒めてないんだよ。だから中華屋で外食するとくらいにしか食べられない
and that would doubtlessly put an end to this meager, nostalgic, peaceful time of Satokos. A limited tranquility. A tranquility that would end one day. Putting it in those terms, it really was sad. I shook my head firmly and drove off those pointless thoughts. Nagging like always, but she still seemed really happy. That mood of hers drew me in, putting a smile on my own face. Hey, Keichi Maebara. Why don't we quit thinking about this having to end one day? If it will, then just think about it when th th that happens. There was one thing, however, that I could say for sure. As long as I smiled like this, Satoko's own smile would never wane. So as long as I stay this way, this tranquility would never end. Satoshi would come back one day, too. That might happen a lot further away than I'd like, but until that day, what's wrong with me being a replacement for him? Saying that I'm not her real brother, so I can't become Satoshi. That was just an excuse. If I just didn't run away, Satoko would stay happy and live a fun life of enjoy of annoyed nitpicking. I don't know what happened to Satoshi, or what made him abandon Satoko and run away. But just seeing Satoko in such a good mood made me think I could persevere as long as I needed to. So this is what I thought. I wouldn't become a Satoshi. I would become a replacement brother. So, so. これはこういう野菜炒めを期待してたんだよ。うまい。実にうまい。この塩コショウ味のお汁がいいんだよな。実にご飯が進む。ほらほら、ゲイツさん。こぼしてますわよ。そうなに焦って食べなくてもご飯
Satoko looked down and her face bright red and pointed down the hallways as if as if to say just go on ready. Whoops, my old habits seem to have come back. But yeah. This wasn't all that bad either. No weird schemes, everything is just natural. And while having such utterly unguarded thoughts, I went into the bathroom. Tug. My foot caught on something stringy like. Huh? Whoop! She got me. I can't believe her. She always does this when I let my guard down. I can't relax for a minute around her. Still, it was kind of funny and I didn't really feel like getting angry. Satoko laughing uproariously came over. I picked up the wash tops that had crashed into my head and went to go hit Satoko with it. But then I doubled over with the laughter that was, had been welling up within me so I couldn't manage it. I wished things could go on forever like this. It's not like I was having the most fun since coming to Hinamitsawa or anything, but it was probably the first time that I'd spent my day so simply and comfortably. It really wasn't worth much, it was only a few hours after all. As an only child, it was my first taste of having a sibling. Just washing dishes with her felt really nice. Side by side we washed, with the experienced Satoko doing most of the work as I threw in appropriate words to add to the conversation. The scene was so commonplace, and yet so mild and warm. Maybe I had felt this kind of warmth before, too, in the past. I think I've stood next to the sink with my mother like this when I was little. It made me feel nostalgic when I remembered it. It was the same sort of slow, easy time. It was tranquil, such a quiet tranquility that the fact I wasn't uneasy about anything itself almost made me uneasy. Hey, wait, Kichi Maibara. You feel uneasy about something just from spending the time so leisurely? There's nothing at all to feel uneasy about. I mean, why would I be punished for enjoying a gentle life? I do anything to keep these days going and I would never do anything bad, no matter what. I'd work hard for it and endure much for it. So, God, it's not much of a dream to want this kind of thing to keep on going, but can't you grant it? I hadn't noticed until she mentioned it. I heard it to stand up, then ran to the phone. Who could it be at a time like this? I did feel a little like the phone had interrupted my happy moment, but I still wanted to brag about how happy the time I was spending made me, no matter who it was on the other side. That was a little cold of me when she was only calling because she was worried about her son. I couldn't help but give myself a dry smile. まあ、ね。なんとかおかげで。ご飯はちゃんと作れてる? 
豚肉なんかちゃんとタイムサービスを利用して半額で買ったんだぜ<笑>主婦の知恵っていうのかなそれからそれから All of that was thanks to Satoko and not something I should be proud about But still, I couldn't help but want to boast about the dinner tonight It seemed like mom got the hint that I was in a really good mood So, I did it and I was really happy So, that's it Your mother and father's work was over Tomorrow morning will be able to come back Ah, that's right よく頑張ったわねこっちも二晩ほとんど徹夜でね大変だったけどなんとか先生のイベントは穴を開けずに済みそうようんよかったねお疲れ Why did my parents coming home seem so disappointing? I knew a little bit of the reason of course This tranquility I never wanted to end was about to end so rapidly and it was a little painful After being asked what kind of souvenir I wanted from Tokyo and replying that anything edible would be great, I put down the receiver and Satoka appeared, having finished cleaning up her trap. At first Satoka was in a very good mood, but when she saw me put down the receiver with an uncertain expression, her own clouded over a bit. It seemed like she'd gotten the gist of what my phone conversation had been about. ケイチさんのご両親からですのああ明日には帰ってくるってさあらそれは良かったですわね明日のお夕食の面倒はもう見なくていいわけでございますものね家族で水入らずの食卓を囲みなさいませそんなことないよまた明日からまた無味乾
I was about to use it pretty lightly, so I started to feel apologetic and a little ashamed. Nini? Eh? What did Satoko just say? Satoko laughed awkwardly and turned red in the face. Of course, I was embarrassed when I saw her too. Because the fact that I was trying to act like her brother had gotten across. A warm feeling spread out from my chest. It was completely different from romantic feelings or any of those more impatient emotions. It was much more graceful, quiet and warm, and calm. Satoko still needed her nini. I had initially thought Rika-chan was being sly by not coming today, but when I thought about it like this, I could feel a kind of thoughtfulness of her worrying about a good friend's feelings. Maybe Rika-chan had understood that she couldn't play the part of a brother herself. So then, no, let's stop there, Keiichi Maibara. There's no point in thinking about it so hard. It means everyone feels the same way. It means everyone wants Satoko to be happy. Satoko is acting as though her Nini running away from whom didn't bother her at all, even though that wasn't actually the case. She was very sad, and always waiting for him to come home. Because Satoko was a stable person when she was his sister. In order for her to really be this level-headed, having a brother was something she couldn't do without. In other words, Satoko still needed a brother. Nobody had the right to smile it away as childish immaturity. In fact, they deserved praise for being so close to each other as siblings. That role of brother should be played by her real Nini, by Satoshi, but unfortunately he wasn't there. So since I'm here, I'll play the part. And not with a guilty conscience, but in a very natural way. Because... Was there something wrong with seeing Satoko smile so happily? The sound of the motor on her bike light was too loud and I couldn't hear what Satoko said. なに、なんて言った？いや、本当にどこまでもニーニーに似てますのね、ケイチさん。そっか。もちろん本当のニーニーとは全然違うんですけども、こういろいろそういうところが似てますの。本当に不思議ですわね。似ていると。Once I said that, I thought for a moment that was absolutely the wrong thing to say, but Satoko didn't seem to mind one bit. As I was flustered for a moment at her hitting the mark, Satoko suddenly asked me a question in a calm voice. It was very quiet, composed, and adult question. It was quiet, but her voice sounded lonely somehow. I could say for sure that, at least, was a lie. Yesterday and today, 
Satoko had been so happy spending time like this with me as siblings. And that was proof itself that she was lying about it not getting to her. So I gave Satoko a light poke in the head. <laughs> Despite her saying that, her expression seemed a little lonesome. At this point, Satoko herself had realized that her question had been the wrong thing to say. We didn't need to keep talking about something that Satoko regretted. So in order to cut the conversation short, I grabbed Satoko's head and pet her. I wondered what kind of siblings Satoko and Satoshi were. I've never seen them together, but I could see without a doubt that they were really close. As for the way in which they were close, it was probably quite like this. It was so cool that the day's heat seemed like a lie, and yet the moonlight was somehow faintly warm. The quiet chorus of the insects was pleasing to the ears. Satoko's trap course intermediate. Okay. I could see Tomita-kun and Okamura-kun walking over to the gym storehouse. They needed to get the bag of lime used to make the lines on the court for our next gym class. They were on duty today after all, but in that storehouse, a terrible trap was awaiting them. Trap? The two of them fumbled around with the gym storehouse's lock. Oh, what's this? Okamura kun pointed at a part of the door and started whispering to Tomita kun. Then, realizing something, they both jumped away from the door. Oh, Satoko, you're like that, right? Spy? According to Satoko, after they noticed the suspicious trap on the door, they would go around and try to get in through the back window. And just as she'd prophesied, they went around to the back. And just as she'd prophesied, she, they climbed up, opened the window and tried to sneak in. An explosion of pure white lime burst out of the window. After a few moments, the two of them managed to crawl away from the window, both of them completely white. しかし、よく
そうすれば必要最低限の仕掛けで最大の効果が狙えるトラップが仕掛けられますのよ Come to think of it, before Satoko read the final move at that final moment earlier, Mion had given her high praise, saying she had the makings of a genius. The trap is all the same. So, that means, the trap is all the same. So, that means, the trap is all the same. So, that means, the trap is all the same. So, that means, the trap is all the same. So, that means, the trap is all the same. So, that means, the trap is all the same. ケイチさんがある日突然いつもと違う癖やいつもと違うパターンになってしまったらかからなくなってしまうわけですわね。Bragging that she could anticipate everything I do. That was kind of mean. よーし、じゃあさ、なんかゲームをやってみろ。サトコの読みが当たるかどうか試してみろ。Back to the classroom, Satoko tore off pieces of paper and wrote something on the back of them, making three cards. Of course, I didn't know what she'd written. Satoko smirks and holds out the three cards. Set your mind to full power by calming it, Kichi Maibara. Cool and collected is how you'll win. If I don't pick the losing one, I'll win. Which means if I do pick it, Satoko will win. In other words, Satoko wants to make me pick the losing one. What would she do to make sure I pick the losing one? Could she even predict something like that? Statistically speaking, is there some rule that says I'm more likely to pick the one in the middle or the ones on either side? And then it hits me like a flash. This is what Mion would do. So, who will pick the one? I'm decided. This is it. This is it. Hey, what's that? I steal all three cards from Satoko's hands. I predicted what Satoko would do in advance. Satoko wanted to make sure I picked the losing one, which meant all three of these were the losing ones. So you are it. This three, I'll make you face up. Flip all three cards face up, and on each one there is a single word. You're a loser. What's that? Ha, z, de, hazre. Meaning, it's so. If you didn't pick one, you wouldn't be hazre. Eh? 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 I held my head in my hands and fainted as Satoko revealed the might of her abilities. Her shrill laughter echoed through the classroom. And then there was a poof as lime powder came down upon Satoko's head. I looked to see Tomita Kun and Kamura Kun all in white, dumping a wood bag of lime powder on her, getting their revenge. What? Did you suddenly do what you did? Oh, that's not true. Who did it? 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 That being said, these two pretending to be tough, not only that, but standing completely blank and silent. But anyway, ignoring what happened before, having someone chase you with their mouth full of lime in such a way they can't even speak. Yeah, that would be scary even for Satoko.
Our underclassmen crashed around the classroom in furious combat, getting white lime everywhere. Hey Satoko, why couldn't you see this coming exactly? At the time I hadn't seen something coming to the door. The teacher coming to me afterward and giving us all a stern talking to. Okay, that was kind of weird, but all right. That was day two of Higurashi. Tatariga uh, Roshi, thank you for watching this. We'll move on to day three uh, tomorrow in the meantime. Thank you for watching this, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.